All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Got something a little different for you guys today. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about jig modifications. And the jigs I'm gonna be holding up and showing you guys are the uh, just some football head jigs, half ounce. A couple of just quick modifications that I'm gonna show you guys uh, involve trimming up the skirt certain ways, the weed guard, and uh, I will show you guys just a couple of trailers that I like to use and uh, just kind of talk about throwing the jig around and how you can kind of modify it yourself to make it your own. Uh, if you're not making your own custom jigs and you're just buying from the stores, a couple of things that you can do to get you a few more bites. And I'll kind of tell you which modifications and which scenario you should be using. Uh, like this win like in the winter, I like to make my jigs a little bit more finessey. Really slow them down and make them a little bit smaller, more compact, more finessey. Uh, you don't really have to, like, some, I still like fishing deep, so if I use a little bitty finesse jig, it, I feel like it just takes forever to get to the bottom and can't keep good bottom contact, so I still like to use heavier jigs, but you can make this jig look more finesse than what it is now, so we're going to go ahead and just go through a couple of these jigs and these modifications with you guys. Hopefully, it helps you catch a few more fish, so let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty guys, we got a couple jigs here. What you're gonna need is a pair of scissors. And I will do my best to try to cut these skirts up like I'm about to show you uh, the best I can with this camera angle here. So the first one is just gonna be a lot of these a lot of times you get these jigs and the skirt goes past the hooks pretty far. If you just want to shorten that skirt up a little bit. I feel like it keeps them from grabbing the end of your jig. It'll cause them to really bite down on the on the part that you want them to grab the jig. And uh, if you put a trailer on there that doesn't stick out very far, its claw isn't going to be out too far past the skirt down here. So I like to trim the skirt just below the hook. So there's the hook right there. I like to trim the skirt where it's just below the hook. That way that trailer sticks out a little further. You can really see that trailer. And then it gets them, I feel like it gets them to grab the whole main part of the jig, keeps it from grabbing the back back here. Try to trim this up like this. Usually I'd hold it up in the air. doesn't have to be perfect so there now it's just a little more compact looking and got this skirt hanging way down here claws usually throwing a claw trailer type on here because this is what the jigs mimicking is a craw so you get that thing on there now now your baits gonna or your trailer is gonna be sticking out a little bit further and just makes it a little com more compact and just gives it a little different look than this big long skirt here. Not a real big difference, but sometimes that's all it takes for them to get keyed in on that bait and get you some bites. Uh, that's just a, people do that with a lot of their spinner baits and stuff like that. It keeps them from biting the, just short striking it pretty much. But what I'm about to do here is, uh, we're gonna make this jig a little bit more finesse. -y. And this is what I like to do in the winter. So what you want to do is you have the collar on here. Hold on. So you got the collar on here. You want to split that with all your your skirt above and below. So you're basically like parting it right on the collar. All right. So once you get it parted, so I have the free hanging stuff up by the head and the free hanging stuff down below by the hook here. You want to just hold. Let me switch this around. You want to hold the part down by the hook. Grab your scissors. And you want to just cut this. I'm going to show you where I'm going to cut it. Cut it right here as close as you can to the head. Just right here. So you want to cut off all that and get as close to that jig head as you can. 
I'll show you what it does to this bait. You ain't gonna be able to see how I cut it and do this camera angle. But here, maybe I can show you guys. Get it as close to the head as you can. And then, just like that, makes you gives you a finesse jig and I usually come around and even trim up these a little bit more. So just like that, you now have a finesse jig. You go look up or buy some finesse jigs. They always got these little short fringy things at the top and then a less some less skirting down below. And it just gives it a little smaller profile doesn't look like a big bulky bait you can throw a little skinnier smaller trailer on here and uh, it's kind of just like a way to downsize your jig in the winter time so it definitely gives a different uh, feel to the fish as well this collar here is going to throw off some different water displacement with those little uh, these little skirt tails being short like this you go to pull that through the water that's going to give a different feel to the fish so and i'll throw a couple trailers on here and just show you kind of how they look <clears throat> another so another modification you can do deals with the weed guard now this one ain't too bad it bends down pretty easy and catches my thumb right there on it i really don't have to press too hard but some of these you get the weed guard out here pretty far or they'll they'll be super stiff so what you can do i'm just going to trim this one up a little bit because it's already pretty good <clears throat> but what you do is you want to just cut the end of this off don't go past the hook tip here don't go past the hook point but just trim a little bit of that off that way that hook can get into that fish a little easier. I usually cut it at an angle like this. <clears throat> so now your weed guard's kind of at an angle. And it's a lot easier to push that down and get that hook point. Catches my thumb really easy. That's just another modification if you guys are buying different jigs and trying them out for the first time and you're not sure how the weed guard is. Always grab those things and make sure you can push that down pretty easy and that hook point grabs you right there. So. You don't want to be missing fish due to a stiff or too big of a weed guard. Another one that you can do, obviously I've already used this jig a bit. And the skirt, did not trim the skirt up at all, just left it how it is. Big long skirt. One more thing you can do, or that I do, you can do a lot more obviously. You can take the whole skirt off, switch it around, do whatever. But these are just a couple things that I do guys. Uh, I take this skirt and you're going to trim it again, but you're going to cut it this way and then this way, kind of at an angle like this. And it kind of just makes that jig come down to a point and it kind of your trailer will come out and that jig kind of tapers into your trailer and it just gives it a little bit of a different look. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this up and show you guys what I'm talking about. So you want to just cut at an angle like so and come over to the other side do the same thing so now you can see how it's kind of bigger up here and then kind of tapers down and then your trailer would be sticking out right around here so this is also going to give it a more little kind of a finessier look and a little bit less bulky but then you're you still got some longer longer tra longer uh, skirt tails in there, but then the other ones kind of they'll kind of branch out a little more now that you trim the ones out on, out on the sides. Just gives it a little different movement, a little different action. This is a little different weed guard here. See, this one's already plenty short enough. It's right there, at the, right there at the hook tip. So you wouldn't need to tr need to trim this one. But yeah, you can do this with any jigs, guys. Uh, swim jigs football heads like we did today flipping jigs skipping jigs don't be scared to modify and trim that skirt up and make it your own thing you can see all the shavings down here 
All right, I'm just gonna throw a couple trailers on these guys and kind of show you what they look like after trimming them up. All right, got a couple things here. I'm gonna show you guys what to you can rig up and test out. So one of my favorite trailers is an HD Craw, and it has this tail on here, and it's split. So if you throw it on just a plain bare jig head. Uh, it's kind of hidden by this tail here, but if you throw it on a jig with a skirt, it kind of gets in the way and makes your jig look all funky. So as much as I hate it, I just cut that tail off. And I'll throw this one on the shorter skirt that I trimmed. All you want to do is put the back toward the shank of the hook. Start in from the back. And once it starts bending on you pretty good, you're usually pretty safe. Just go ahead and pop that thing out. And shove it way up on there. And then, I don't got it perfectly straight, but just like that. You got your trailer sticking out because this one, your skirt would have been down here. Since I trimmed it up, it gives these claws a little more freedom and they're not so hidden. So these claws would be out here moving around. This is definitely something good for uh, winter time. I like throwing this crawl in the winter. You guys have seen me throw it. So putting it on a jig just feels right. Also with this finesse one throw this on here you can definitely see the profile of the crawl a lot better when you trim a lot of those skirt a lot of that skirt off, skirt off of here but we'll just go ahead and rig these up this this ain't like I wouldn't throw this on the finesse I would just leave the probably leave the whole jig wouldn't even trim much of it up if I was going to throw this on there but this is another one of my favorite trailers I actually bite this is a bandito bug if you guys don't know what it is I actually trim a little bit off of this one as well. This is if I'm going summertime jig fishing or fall, you know, you're throwing your big football heads. Here, I want a big profile. I'll throw this on there. And this is the one I trimmed up, so there would be more skirt with this thing. This is another great option here. Gives the, gives the bait a lot of movement, has the arms, has a little claw flappers make sure you break these it has little claw flaps here this is another one I love throwing on uh, football head jigs like this and then the last one is something a little different Z-Man these bat wings these, these have a ton of movement you guys aren't familiar with Z-Man they are super stretchy. So these little flapper dudes here, they have a ton of movement. And what you want to do, I don't run this one up on the on the hook like you normally would and run it all the way up. I just hook it one time straight through. But if you do that, it can slide up your hook and cause some problems. So what I do is I'll take a worm, kind of measure it out, and all you gotta do is put your thumb here. rip you off a chunk of worm. I usually just use a Cinco or something. Or if you just have some old plastic laying in your boat, I would suggest using that. And then you run this up. It doesn't have to look pretty at all. That's all you need right there. And then when you run this through, you just run it through one time, just right in the middle. This is a Z-Man, so I mean, usually don't, the barb holds that thing on pretty dang good. I mean, I'm just trying to shake it off and it won't come off. But when this is down in the water, now you got your claws sticking out way out there like that. And these are going to move all over the place. It's going to move all around. And what this worm does is it keeps us from sliding up and getting way up here and sticking out the back of your bait there. It keeps it straight. So that way it's always in line. Your jig's always in line and doing good. It's kind of like a, 
there's a couple different trailers that you single hook like this, but I like these Z-Man because they, I mean, you gotta really force that thing to get it off. This plastic, that barb holds them on really good, so they just last longer. Don't rip up as easy. So there's just a couple options. I mean, there's a million different trailers out there you guys can use and a ton of different modifications you guys can do to your jigs, but those are just kind of my staples. This is probably one of my favorites to throw. I like the bigger profile when I'm throwing my jigs around. Usually when I'm jig fishing, I'm fishing for big fish, so a big profile. But I hope this guy's helps you I hope this helps you guys get a couple more bites. You're out there throwing a jig and you think, man, I should be hitting the jig and you can't just can't get him to bite it. Whip out a pair of scissors, trim it up a little bit, give it a more finessey look. Maybe those fish have been fished have seen a jig a million times and you just go do just a little little trimming of the skirt just like this and maybe that's all it takes to get them to key in on that bait and hit it for you. Alright guys, I know that wasn't the most in-depth video on how to uh, modify a jig or baits or when to catch fish on a jig or anything like that, but I was just simply trying to show you guys just a couple quick, easy modifications that you can do with just a pair of scissors. I mean, it's all you need. Uh, you can obviously switch jigs out, repaint the heads, I mean, heck, mold your own jigs, pour your own jigs and everything. So, I mean, there's endless possibilities to modify or make your own jigs, but this is just something a little real quick and easy you guys can do to help you guys get uh, a couple more bites hopefully so yep these three right here obviously didn't cover obviously didn't cover swim jigs or fin little bitty finesse jigs or skipping jigs or flipping jigs I mean all I have was the football head jigs here but you can do those modifications to all those jigs guys so don't be afraid to experiment and just keep fishing. Keep fishing, keep learning, and hopefully you guys, hopefully this helps you out. That's all I got today, guys. Uh, should hopefully be getting out and doing some more fishing soon. Haven't really filmed a video like this in a while for you guys. It's been mostly all fishing, but got some stuff frozen over, had terrible weather, and I'm working a lot of overtime right now, so <clears throat> don't have time to really get out and do as much fishing as I have in the past, so but things will slow down and weather is going to warm up so be getting out and doing a lot of fishing soon i got a lot of tournaments coming up this year so stay tuned for those and that is it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this little video hopefully it, uh kind of get your brain going a little bit do your own modifications and do your own experiments so i thank you all for watching down below if you haven't yet subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all in the next one